Hi friends, uh, this is Ashok Raji. In this video, we are going to discuss about uh, what is fire dampers and the function of fire dampers and uh, what type of uh, fire dampers are available in the market. So before uh, moving into the topic, so I request you to uh, subscribe this channel and press the bell button to get the immediate update from our channel. And also, if you if you would like to uh, watch uh, uh, this uh, uh, this topic in uh, in your in your own mother tongue like uh, uh, Tamil and uh, Hindi, so please go to Engineers View and uh, uh, watch this video. Okay, so what is fire dampers? So fire dampers is used to uh, prevent the uh, uh, fire fire spread uh, spread of the fire spread of the flame from one area to another area for example uh, assume that i have one uh, air conditioning system that air conditioning system is uh, uh, distributing the it is uh, transferring the cooling air to four different rooms okay so in case if any fire occurred in one room that air is come up to your uh, that uh, air conditioning unit and from there that that uh, 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 fire will transfer to the another rooms there are more chances is there as you know if any room if you are sending any um, if you are sending any uh, uh, if you are sending the your air to your uh, through the supply duct or otherwise through the uh, ductless system However, if you are having a only one uh, uh, air conditioning system that is feeding for four or five, uh, five rooms and there is a chances of, if there is a chances of fire in one room, that fire will spread up to another room. So to avoid that uh, fire, to avoid not, avoid to, uh, we cannot avoid that fire, but we, we can control that fire, it is uh, spreading from the one room to another room. So for that purpose only uh, uh, we are going to use the fire dampers in the duct or otherwise in the your uh, uh, written uh, dampers or uh, supply dampers in whatever it is. Okay. So in fire dampers and uh, there are um, so for example if you are going to buy any fire dampers uh, you have to first check that whether it is uh, approved by the uh, uh, UL, it is uh, certified by the UL or not UL, it is uh, approved it is certified by the UL approved laboratory or not you have to check the first things and uh, uh, it is accordance with the UL triple five that is uh, some standard so if you are, if, if you want to uh, use any uh, fire dampers and you have to check whether it is uh, uh, UL certified uh, whether it is certified tested in the UL certified uh, uh, laboratory or not, you have to check the first things. If it is tested, then you can use a use as a fire dampers. And the second thing is what uh, in fire dampers there are uh, two types of uh, fire dampers available in the market. One is fusible link fire dampers and the uh, uh, fire dampers with actuator that is called motorized fire dampers. Okay, so fusible link fire dampers uh, generally we can say that it is a conventional type and uh, Fire dampers with the actuator that is motorized uh, uh, fire dampers we can say is the advance of uh, work that the conventional type fire dampers and uh, so for uh, uh, fusible link fire dampers and there is a one fusible link uh, uh, there uh, that fusible link it melt at some temperature for example if you are taking any room without air conditioning the room temperature is near to 30 or 28 or whatever it it is depends on the uh, atmospheric temperature and room uh, heat okay room uh, other heat loaded okay uh, so if you assume that the room temperature is 30 and the room temperature is rising up to uh, 73.88 degrees celsius due to some fire during that time only that link will uh, melt and your that uh, dampers door if you are having some fire dampers the damper door will close so if the damper door will close then air from the one end and they cannot uh, travel to the another end okay i will give on uh, two two three photos i will show uh, two three photos so that you can easily understand so what i'm coming to what i'm trying to say okay this is a uh, one type of uh, fire dampers there is a curtain blade fire dampers see if you are seeing this uh, image see my i hope my cursor is uh, visible to you okay so in top of this um, frame okay 
is a curtain blade is available so it is uh, it is held at the top of the damper generally it is in open condition why because the air flow has to travel from this end to another end okay otherwise this end to, to towards the unit the air has to travel so when the fire is occurred okay when is the fire occurred i told uh, uh, in such a uh, curtain uh, blade fire dampers available in fusible link uh, as well as the motorized fire dampers that is comes with the actuator or otherwise without actuator it is also coming so assume that is a, uh, there is a fusible link that fusible link will meet at uh, the temperature is uh, uh, the room temperature uh, reach the threshold level like uh, that uh, 73.88 uh, 73.88 degree celsius and this curtain uh, uh, this curtain uh, uh, falls from the top to bottom okay from top to bottom and and it it is barrier to the your air flow okay so the air will not uh, travel from this end to another end okay this is the curtain blade fire dampers this is uh, available in the market and second one is multi blade fire dampers so if you are looking multi blade fire dampers the people will think that it is almost uh, similar to the air control damper right yes of course if anybody is seeing this image they will uh, um, uh, think that it is uh, it is all it is it is resembles uh, to the your uh, um, air control damper okay so manufacturer what uh, doing right so if you are buying some xy manufacturer uh, from if you are buying some uh, uh, any manufacturer xy uh, assume that okay so i am buying the uh, 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 multiplied fire dampers as well as the air control damper from the x manufacturer they are giving the, to differentiate to in order to uh, 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 in order to avoid the confusion they are giving some color code to these uh, fire dampers okay my, uh, even whether it is a uh, 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 multiplied fire dampers whether it is a air control dampers okay so so in order to differentiate that such a multi blade fire dampers and uh, that um, air control dampers it comes with different colors okay so all the manufacturer are following uh, to uh, in such a they are following the, that uh, color code in order to avoid the confusion uh, with the customer okay at the customer end so uh, he, uh, this uh, multi blade uh, fire dampers also comes with uh, that um, what uh, fusible link uh, as well as the motorized fire dampers and uh, some cases the people will use uh, dynamic uh, fire dampers and static fire dampers actually the curtain type fire dampers is also available in uh, is can be also used for dynamic uh, application as well as the static application and even multi blade fire dampers also can be used as a yes, dynamic uh, application or static uh, application so dynamic uh, fire dampers is nothing but is the, the that uh, that the dampers will close even if the air is running okay that is a dynamic fire dampers and static fire dampers is nothing but the air that uh, dampers will close even uh, only if the air flow is stopped Okay, there is a difference between these uh, two. So, if um, uh, I told right, if uh, any fire dampers is certified with UL triple five, it is tested in UL uh, um, UL certified laboratory. That fire dampers can be used for dynamic application as well as static application. Okay, so that's it. And another one point I have to add. Uh, I told uh, the fire dampers come uh, comes with uh, feasible link uh, as well as the motorized fire dampers. I mean motorized uh, type. So among these two, if you are going, uh, uh, you have to go with the motorized fire dampers only. Why? Because uh, uh, for procuring the um, feasible link fire dampers is very, uh, very less expensive compared with your motorized fire dampers. Cost wise is very less, but the maintenance wise is very, very difficult. You cannot maintain it very easily. And another thing uh, that that uh, uh, that cannot uh, that cannot that cannot uh, what suppose if any fire occurs that uh, even uh, that uh, feasible link melted 73.8 degrees till then the, that air will uh, uh, the air has uh, has some fire right some uh, it is uh, it is mixed up with fire and the fire will chances the fire will transfer to, from the one room to another room there are a lot of chances is there why because the, the temperature the heat uh, till uh, reach up to 73.88 till that 
the the spread of the uh, sp spreading of the uh, fire uh, is more okay chances of spreading fire is more uh, so so that uh, you can uh, instead of using that uh, fusible uh, link fire dampers you can use the motorized fire dampers in motorized fire dampers maintenance is very very easy and if you want to do the testing if you are want to do, uh, do some uh, that the fire dampers whether it's working or not you can easily check up with uh, from your bima system and even uh, if if any uh, fire occurs and it will uh, if my if 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 i integrated with uh, that uh, motorized fire dampers with my fire uh, detection system and it, it immediately detecting and it immediately shutting down the uh, 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 door of that fire dampers okay so that uh, that is the advantage of that motorized fire dampers compares with the, your conventional type fire dampers okay so that's it uh, today topic that's it okay so hope uh, you will understand uh, what is fire dampers and what is the function of fire dampers what is the type of fire dampers available in the market so if you like this video please do <coughs> like uh, please do uh, uh, please react with me uh, my video uh, doing like and dislike uh, so thank you for watching my channel and keep supporting if you have any doubt please uh, command it in command box thank you bye bye